In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you our honest review on the new Simply and Beautiful math from The Good and the Beautiful. And uh, if you didn't know, they have free samples online that you can get your hands on. I believe it's from levels K up until five. So you can get your hands on sample lessons to see if this would be a good fit in your homeschool. So today that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing a lesson. I'm gonna be giving you a bit of a flip through and a comparison from the old version and the new version and see if there's any differences and then give you my overall thoughts and see what Nicholas feels about it too. So if you're interested in seeing how we do this in our homeschool, just keep on watching. So I'm gonna be giving you a little bit of an overview of how the lesson is kind of looking. Don't mind my print job. I have a very terrible printer and it's just terrible. So it doesn't look like this, the lines. But I wanted to give you a little bit of a flip through of how the level one from the Simply Good and Beautiful Math is looking. And I wanted just to compare once I choose which lesson we're going to be doing, I'm gonna give you a bit of a comparison and show you how it kind of looks different from the Math One course book uh, that um, is from the old edition. So let's look over here and see. This is kind of like a sample lesson that they give you online so you can obtain this too. And I think that they have level K up until level five online. So you can kind of take a look and see if this would be a good fit for you. And it just talks about the course, talks about the daily lessons and how to use the curriculum. It seems like it's very the same of how it flows. So that's kind of nice because I'm used to um, how the other version does flow. There's a frequently asked questions here and it asks you how long the lessons are gonna take, around 15 to 20 minutes, and you can read through that on your own. Questions that you might have is right over here. And then it gives you a couple of sample lessons. So you can kind of see how it looks and you can already see that it basically has the lesson and then it has a, a worksheet in a review. Okay, that's how it's looking. Guys, this is my first impression as well, so I just printed this out, so. And then another one, here's lesson 18. And same thing, it seems like it flows the same of how it was with the older version. And then there's some worksheets and review. There's another lesson, so it does give you quite a bit of different lessons so you can kind of see uh, how the curriculum flows so that's nice pennies nickels and dimes part two so i'm just going to go to the last lesson because i think i'm going to do that just because nicholas is almost completing his level one from the old version so um just so it can be a bit more challenging for him uh, so this is the lesson that we're going to be doing is lesson 53. It has the general flow of the good and the beautiful where, you know, it teaches the lesson through stories. So it has that Charlotte Mason type of feel. It's still very colorful, which I do like. It has a similar kind of feeling with having the daily dose. So with the good and the beautiful, let me go to lesson 53 here and show you how it looks like in their old version. So this is their old version and you see here lesson 53 has a daily dose. That was the kind of like the first thing that we would do before we started the math lesson, almost like review. And you see that they shortened it down a little bit. And it mentioned in the beginning of how to use this curriculum is that this portion here, the review section, you only have to do it if your child needs practice with whatever concept that they tell you to practice with your child. So here it says, watch the video, how to spell the number four, five, and six. So I obviously, I don't have that because the good and the beautiful, this is just a sample lesson, but I would suppose that they do have a video online or something like that, that we have to uh, watch and um, write four, five, and six on the board. I know that Nicholas already knows how to spell four, five, and six, but we'll probably just do it just for reference wise. So you already can tell a huge difference with just the daily dose, <laughs> the amount of work that needs to be done. I actually like this daily dose because Nicholas could do this independently. And the daily dose consisted of my planner, so there was a my planner. It's just kind of an activity that he has to do. And then there's my place value chart. So it had this as well that we work on place value every single day. They eliminated that from the new version. So, okay, um, it's, it's, it's different. It's a little bit different. We can see a little bit of a difference. So uh, lesson wise, so this is the lesson. 
seems short and sweet. Um, it should be, it seems, it seems okay. I, I think I like it so far. And then there's a review page, terrible printing job. Oh, look at those lines. Guys, if you have a good printer, let me know which one you have. I've heard really good things about Epsom. Epsom, I don't know if I'm saying that right. But anyways, I hate my printer. It's like an HP something. I don't know, it's terrible. But anyways, there's a review page here for him to complete independently. So that's how the lesson 53 is looking. Let's look at lesson 53 here. So uh, for this lesson here is that Nicholas Hatches the Daily Dose um, and there is a game that he had to play and then the lesson, it still has that feel of the blue text is just basically the lesson telling the parent what to do. The black text is just telling you what to say to the child. So that's how it was looking for lesson 53. And then there's a student worksheet over here as well. And there's a bonus independent activity. So yeah, it looks a little bit different. It doesn't seem to have too many games involved or manipulatives. So that's kind of nice. So yeah, let's, let's, let's see how this lesson flows and I'm gonna be doing this with Nicholas and then we'll give you our honest review and how we feel about it. Okay, so we're here with Nicholas and we are just going to be doing our math lesson here in our reading corner. And um, so the first thing that it tells us to do is to watch a video. We don't have a video because it's a new, it's a new version of The Good and the Beautiful and we'll probably have access to uh, the video once we actually buy the curriculum. It tells you here to write four, five, and six on the board. You have to write it like, actually write it like four, the number four. Oh, okay. Like <laughs> spell four, spell it. Spell four. Good. Four. Liking for you. You ready to read the story? Jack went to the doctor's office with his mom. There was a long wait and Jack had nothing to do. His mom was always creative. I have an idea, she said. She handed him a pile of 20 quarters. See, 100 cents is a dollar. She laid the quarters out on the table in the waiting room. Let's count. In the blink of an eye and move out and be on your own. But no matter what comes your way, I will stay right here beside you to catch you if you fall. Hundred? We have six hundred. Six hundred cents. Six hundred cents, right? And six hundred cents equals how many dollars? Six dollars. Six dollars, good. Okay, so let's move on. Jack's mom took a string from her purse and made a large circle on the floor. Drop the coins, she said. Let's see how many land in the circle and don't touch the string. Let's count the quarters that landed in the circle. Circle the coins inside the circle in groups of four. Then point to each quarter as we skip, skip count by 25s, saying 25, 50, 75, 100. 200 cents. So how much is 200 cents? How many dollars is that? Two dollars, right? Yeah, that's true. Okay, good. Just by looking at it, you could tell. Good job. Okay. Jack's mom then put some items from her purse on the table. Use the coins to act like you are purchasing these items. How many quarters? So uh, one dollar. Yeah, it's one dollar. But how many of that in cents? Seventy-five, fifty, seventy-five, one hundred. Okay. Can you write a dollar? How much was that? One dollar. Okay. Okay, and then now the calculator. Let's see how much that one was. What? Okay, so we are finished the lesson. So Nicholas, what did you think of the lesson? It was pretty good. What did you? What did you think of it? Like. Tell your honest opinion. What did you think? I loved it. Yeah? Think it was hard? Do you think it was challenging? Um, no. No? It was fun? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, it took us about 10 minutes for us to do the lesson, so it was pretty good. Um, now there is an independent, like a review. There's a review worksheet, Nicholas, that you're gonna have to do. So it says here, each campsite at Clover Campground needs the right number on the sign. Use the hints to write the number on each sign. Then complete the subtraction and addition problems in the river. Okay, so Nicholas, the printing job is pretty bad, okay? 
but you're just gonna have to work with it. So Nicholas is gonna be doing his independent practice. So this is almost like an independent kind of review. Look what this little girl did. Look what you did. Look what you did with my bad printing job lesson. You think that's funny? You think that is funny? <laughs> You're so rude. Just take that out of my hand. <laughs> Okay, pretty cool. Pretty easy. Okay, so we are finished with the lesson and overall thoughts. Okay, so what did we think about the new Simply Beautiful and Good Math? So overall, I like it. I honest, like just first impressions from that lesson. Very easy, very beautiful, very easy for the parent to teach. It continues with that kind of Charlotte Mason feel, which I love. I think that we will be continuing with the good and the beautiful. I'm definitely gonna be putting an order in in August. But anyways, I have a review on my channel letting you know how I felt about the good and the beautiful, their older version. So if you wanna check that out, I'll link it here and I'll link it down below as well. But guys, overall, I give it a big thumbs up. I hope that this can help you make a decision on if you want to use it in your next year for your homeschooling. If you like these types of videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and um, of course I post homeschool content but also motherhood, lifestyle, and anything in between. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.